I know. Uh, okay, hello. It is Tuesday, the 16th of February. Um, oh, let me move the microphone out of the way. Um, yes, Tuesday, 16th of February. Um, doing another two tonight because I've got to catch up, basically, and give yourself a little bit of head start. So, um, tonight I'm going to, I've just randomly grabbed a couple of bottles out of the box that I've got of my stock so far, which is. Um, Still got quite a few in, but it's starting to look a bit thin. So if any of you people out there um, either have some whiskey that you can share 25 mils of, not CL, mil, um, or in miniature, or uh, you know some people that have got a collection of whiskey, that they've got a few bottles open that they can, um, they'd be willing to share, anything, anything that's on the list, I'll put the, um, in fact, it's, I'm not putting it up there because it's already on the bottom there. Um, somewhere on there is the, uh, uh, address for donating drams. Uh, likewise, if you can donate some cash to um, the charity, the Just Giving page that I'm trying to raise money for the Children's Heart Surgery Fund, that would be fantastic as well. So, um, yeah, I've grabbed two bottles out tonight, um, both blends, um, one of which I'm not actually sure if it's still around anymore. So, um, if it's any good um, and I'm recommending buying a bottle of it, you might struggle. Um, so, we'll do that one first, which is called Pin Winnie. Keep forgetting where the Right, around here. Um, it's this one. Um, very fancy label. It's one of these labels that make it look a lot older than it is. It's the sort of label that looks as though it's been sat in a cupboard for 50, 60, 70 years. Um, and it was made way back in the day. But um, when I was working at the whiskey shop, um, which was only seven years ago, maybe a bit longer, eight years ago, um, we were selling it and um, it was in this packaging in fact I'll put a picture of the packaging because uh, it was quite a nice tin as well um, and I think some versions it even came in like a drawstring bag that went inside the tin to protect the bottle but very traditional looking and sort of gives you a um, it almost it's one of those weird labels it was a bit like sheet dip when I did sheet dip and I had I can't even open it um, it's one of those labels that kind of you look at it and you think I thought I think I know what this is going to taste like um, I can't open this, so I'm gonna have to use my teeth. Ah, ah Jesus! Yeah. It's all right. It's not sealed up or anything like that. It's just really, really tight, tightly screwed on. So, um, yeah, it's one of those labels where, particularly if you're a kid and you saw that label, you can imagine it's gonna taste really old. Um, I don't know why, it's just certain labels. It's like sheet dip. When I looked at that really old label of sheet dip as a kid, I imagined that it was going to taste like actual sheet dip, and I don't know why, it was because it was a really odd looking old label. Um, but this was a design choice to, to make it look like that, to make it look as though it had been made in ye olden times. Um, not been able to find out much about it either. Apparently, it's been discontinued, so um, it wouldn't have been that long ago it was discontinued. You know, probably maybe 2010, maybe a little bit earlier than that. So there's still bottles around. Um, blended whiskey, um, it was um, uh, owned by a company called Inverhouse Distillers, who also owned um, Old Pulkney, Bow Blair, Bow Manock, uh, Spayburn, and Knock Do, which is also available to Anok. So there's a very good chance that um, it probably involves quite a few of them as well. I'm going to turn my phone off because it's uh, getting in my head. Um, so there's probably a very good chance that there is one, two, maybe quite a few of them in there because they already own those distilleries and could use it in stock. Pretty good on the nose actually. There is that metallic-y slight feel of the grain whiskey in there. So um, I guess there's a quite a higher percentage of grain to malt than there would be in some others. Yeah, it's all yeah, it's a real kind of metallic um, feel to it. Now it's forty percent, but it actually it burnt the back of my nose a little bit there as well. So kind of I probably breathed in a little bit deeply, but it um, was a little bit harsher than I was expecting. Yeah, I'm going to say there's quite a high grain content in here. Um, it's quite hard. It's not necessarily harsh, but it's quite hard, and there's not a lot of softness about it. There is a little bit. There's a little bit of sweetness. Um, there's arguably some of the sort of space ID character in there, 
um, a bit of caramel but it's a slightly artificial caramel now it's not particularly dark but it is possible that they've added some caramel in there just to give it a bit more colouring but it's almost more sweet it, I would expect it to be darker with the amount of sweetness that's in there but it's um, it's definitely got a prickliness to it and it's not an alcohol prickliness it's a prickliness of a grain whiskey it's quite um, it's not quite when you've been holding coppers and you lick your fingers by accident it's not quite as bad as that but it's it's a hard sensation it's not unpleasant but it's it wouldn't necessarily be to everybody's taste yeah there's a, a little woodiness to there there's a very very faint underlying sort of sugar candy like a hard candy juiciness to it and that juiciness is from the grain whiskey it's okay but it's not particularly pleasant I certainly wouldn't want any more than that I wouldn't want like a, you know, a full shot of it a 35ml shot um, or anything like that with it and if you were mixing this would probably be quite good to mix with because it's got a hardness to it that's going to cut through anything that you put with it in terms of a cocktail or anything like that not totally unpleasant but not particularly great I would argue still it's another one ticks off the list if you can find it it might start to get even more expensive it's probably better the packaging is better than the whiskey unfortunately but if you've got any, one in your cupboard and it's not opened it might be worth keeping hold of it because it might become a bit of a collector's item hmm it was okay alright see you in the next one